to my channel. So first of all, I want to wish Happy Chinese New Year to everyone who is celebrating. So today I have created a Valentine's Day look incorporating all the pinkish tone. This look is perfect for the daytime and it is quite natural but also can be switched up to a night look by just switching the colour of your lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch my upcoming videos. Give this video a like if you like it and comment down below what future video would you like to see. So if you want to know how I recreate this look, just keep watching. So now I'm just going to use an eyeshadow brace to prime my lids so that the eyeshadow can stay longer throughout the day. So I'm just going to use my finger to blend. Next, I'm just going to take this cream shade right here. And using a blending brush like this, I'm just going to put it all over my lids. Next, I'm just going to take this smaller blending brush and taking this bright orange colour and putting in my crease. So you want to start out slow so tap off the excess and you just want to start at your crease. One tip that I can recommend is raise your brow just like that so that you can distribute the colour much more easier at the crease. If you feel the colour is too harsh, just take a fluffy blending brush without any product on and just blend it in. Next, using the same brush, I'm just going to take this warm brown right here. So I'm just going to take the warm brown and put it at the crease. This is actually to tone down the orange colour. So next, I'm just going to take this very shimmery pinkish colour as you can see right here and I'm just going to dab it onto my lids. You can use a brush for this but I prefer using my fingers. And next, I'm just going to take a dome shaped brush like this and taking this very bright purple shade right here and putting it at my outer corner. This purple doesn't show up as brightly, that's why it's much more wearable. So you just want to blend it properly. And again, take the blending brush with no products to just blend everything out. So there's no harsh edges. Now I'm just going to take this darker purple like here. And I want to focus it at the outer corner, so... And I'm just going to add more product so that the colour shows up much more better. And then you just want to take your blending brush to just blend the colour together. Next, I'm just going to go on to the lower lash line and I'm going to take an angle brush like this and also taking this colour from the chocolate bar I'm just going to start at the outer corner so this will give more dimension to the eyes So next, I'm just going to take a pencil brush like this and I'm going to go with this very shimmery white colour here and basically focusing this colour at my inner corners this will really help to brighten up the eyes. And also you can put it at your inner waterline to brighten up the eyes more. And if you feel it is too harsh, you're just going to take the blending brush and lightly blend it over. So because I chose this look to be much more softer, I'm just going to take this brown colour eyeliner pencil here and I'm just going to line my lash line. And 
And because we don't want the lash line to be too harsh, I'm just going to take this angle brush and blend. That, but I want to intensify the shimmering pink color more so I'm just going to take more product on my finger and tap it onto the lid. So the next step is actually highlighting the brow bone and I'm just going to use the cream shade that we used earlier on and this flat shader brush right here and I'm just going to angle this at my brow bone. right there it gives a very nice brow bone highlight so now I'm just gonna curl my lashes for mascara use this Maybelline mascara to coat my lashes so I'm just gonna coat my lashes from the bottom wiggling upwards So I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara at my lower lash line. Next step, I'm just going to take a brow powder like this too. Mixing them both together and I'm just going to use this angle liner brush to fill in my brows. See right here, I like to fill in and emphasize more on the tail of the brow. Next, I'm just going to use this spoolie right here to brush through the brows so that it won't be as harsh. Next, I'm just going to take this L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I'm just going to set the brow. So this will allow the brows to stay in place throughout the day. So as you can see here, this is much more fill in compared to this but not as harsh. So I'm just going to do my other brow and I'll be right back. So moving on to the face, I don't want to contour but I'm just going to use this NYX Matte Bronzer to bronze up the face. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheek area. Also my jawline. I'm just going to use a pinkish blush like this. The color is very beautiful. As you can see from the swatch, it gives a very nice glow to the skin. So I'm just going to take a brush like this and dab it into the blush, tap off the excess and smile. I'm going to move on to the lips and I'm going to use this very beautiful L'Oreal gloss right here. And it is in the color 604 Bella. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips. That completes my Valentine's Day look. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye!